What's going on you guys? This is Mixtape. I got another video for you guys. Gonna be giving you guys my opinion on All-Star Weekend. Please leave a like, comment down below, let me know your opinion on it. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. So my opinion on All-Star Weekend was it was awesome. I enjoyed it. Um, a few things that I wish would have happened that didn't happen was uh, Embiid and Simmons would have been able to play. I thought that would have been awesome. Um, as well as Kevin Durant would have been healthy. I think that would have made it a little bit more competitive. But I mean, it was just it was just crazy to see. It was a lot of entertaining things. The skills, the skills thing was awesome to me too. It's pretty crazy how a lot of the, you know, your power forward centers are starting to win those. I mean, to me, that's just wild. You know, you have guys that are shorter and that handle the ball, uh, pause, more than others. And you have the bigger guys who don't handle the ball, Paul's, nearly as much. And, you know, they're winning these competitions. I think uh, one year, uh, the other year, Bam had won it. So it just tells you that, you know, these, these centers are starting to get used to being able to dribble and make decisions with the basketball and, I think it's awesome for, you know, the evolution of the game. So, seeing Sabonis win it, I've always, I figured he'd had a good chance with it because his dad, you know, who, who doesn't know his dad was a great player in the league before, who was one of, you know, who was like a, a Jokic before Jokic, you know, who was real skilled with it and um, had the ball on a string, was able to make all these amazing passes and what not so I thought that that was pretty awesome to see um, the three-point contest um, I think if you're not talking about the all-star game three-point contest was the best part I mean it used to be slam dunk contest back in the day but this year's slam dunk contest was I don't know I'll get to that one the next but to me the skills the skills thing was probably the second best event. The three-point contest was amazing. I'm glad Curry was healthy. You know, shouts out to all the other guys that participated. Kindly went hard, you know, for him to be a first-time All-Star and almost get the chance at, you know, winning. That was crazy. Steph Curry, uh, Mitchell... Uh, Zach Levine. There was a few guys that that participated in that three-point contest, and I think everybody did okay for the most part. Um, my point was just, man, it, it's Curry. Curry did his thing. You know, he came up clutch when he needed to. He got on a streak his first game, his first uh, shooting rack, and I mean, he was just killing it. He was doing his thing, and I think he had 31 points. And the second one, he came up clutch, and I think it was 28 that he got. So, I mean, man, it, it just was – you could just see how easy it was for him. So, that was awesome to see, you know, one of the greatest, if not the greatest shooter ever, getting his shots up, and everything was falling for him. For the most part, he ended up winning on his last shot clutching up so you know I, I didn't expect nothing less I expect the Curry to come out and win and you know once again show the league hey this is why I'm the greatest three point shooter ever so besides that like I said the dunk contest uh, some people said that Cash, Cassius was robbed in his first dunk I think it was a good dunk but honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, after that first round, I fell asleep. Um, 
the dunk contest was boring. Maybe it was because there was a lot of guys that really wasn't known, like Obi Toppin, you know, a rookie, uh, Anthony S Simons, who ended up winning. He's not a rookie, but, you know, I, I didn't know he had bounce. And who else? Uh, Cassius Stanley. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if he's a rookie or not, but. Uh, it, was, it was just really something, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I typically don't fall asleep on a dunk contest. I know I didn't last year when uh, it was, wasn't it uh, Jones Jr., Derek Jones Jr. is with the Heat now. I mean, not with the Heat, the Trailblazers now, and it was Aaron Gordon. And even though Aaron Gordon got robbed, you know, it was a very entertaining game, so – I mean, a very entertaining contest, and now this year it was just man. Like I said, it was just boring. Um, and then you know the main part, the the game, the team LeBron versus team Durant. Yeah, I think it would have been a little bit better had Durant gotten out there and played the game. That would have definitely made it a little bit easier. You know, and probably would have been a little bit closer. But to me, it was still entertaining, even though for the most part it was one-sided. I still enjoyed the game. I, I had a good time watching that one. It was crazy to see, you know, LeBron almost a full a, a full court pass. Well, not full court, but a half court from the three-point corner to Steph Curry on the on the logo and he's drilling a shot. I mean, man, just imagine how that duo would be if they ever was to have gotten on a team. You know, you seen Curry, Thompson and Durant and Draymond. I mean, just imagine LeBron instead of Durant. You know, who's to say that they wouldn't have got two, three, four championships. Um Outside of that one, man, I'm – who else? I mean, you had Steph and Dame. They were just drilling some of the deepest threes and having so much fun. I mean, it, it was really crazy to see, you know, like at the end – was it the first quarter? Yeah, I believe it was the first quarter whenever Dame had pulled up at half court and he missed the first one and he came right back down and he shot it again and he made it and then Steph next possession comes down and you know he shakes hard and then takes one step in from the half court line and he ends up you know drilling it too I mean just some of the the range you know, back in the day, you know, a lot of older people say, man, you know, all this three-point shooting and all that. I mean, to me, it takes some serious skill to be able to do something like that, to be able to shoot the ball that well. And it's not like they only make these shots one time. I mean, they both have made these shots in, in normal games now. So seeing that in the All-Star game was pretty pretty awesome. And hopefully we get to see more of that in the future, of course. But, I mean, it would have been different had they been on different teams. But to me, seeing them on the same team, you know, trading possessions back to back with it was crazy, man. I was very enjoyable. And, you know, Giannis just had a field day. He went in at will. He did what he wanted to. Um LeBron didn't play that much. I was kind of surprised, but I understood. You know, he's been playing a lot of minutes and he's older. So, you know, it was good that he did get out there and get a little bit of burn in. Uh, Kyrie and Harden didn't look like they was out there to play no games. I mean, Harden smiled and talked a little bit to Curry from what I was seeing, but. Other than that, uh, it it didn't look like Kyrie had 
shed a smile the whole game. Him or Kawhi, I mean, they they was taking it so serious and um, you know, you took it all serious and just to you know, not not to be disrespectful, but you know, you guys were so serious and you guys didn't win. You know, and Harden came out and he tried a little bit, but I don't know, I thought it was entertaining. LeBron ended up winning all the quarters. Uh, Chris Paul was playing well. He was grabbing rebounds and dishing as usual. I mean, man, if you get the chance to see somebody like LeBron and Chris Paul, you know, and play so many years in the league and they're still playing at a high level in these all-star games, I mean, hopefully we get to see the same with some of the other players that's in the league now, like, a Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Steph, Dame. Uh, hopefully, Clay Thompson could uh, bounce back from his injuries and, you know, see where he's at. You know, there's so much talent in the league. You know, you could make cases for just on talent wise that some other players were snubbed as well. You know, uh, Mike Conley wouldn't even got that chance had Booker not been hurt. And Booker wouldn't have got the chance, you know, had Anthony Davis not been hurt. So, there's just so many different ways that you could look at the game. I had a amazing time watching it, seeing Steph and Dame. Uh, Jokic was chilling. Doncic was chilling. There was a lot of people just having fun and enjoying it. LeBron bringing home all the proceeds from his for his charity and getting the win and that was ultimately the best thing about it i also enjoyed all the hbcu uh dedications and stuff that they had but that's my opinion on it please leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new this is a mixtape and i'm out enjoy y'all day